Cyberman. Get down! It begins with an email from Stephen Moffat saying, I know you've said you are too busy to ever write another Doctor Who episode, but would you like to make the Cyberman scarier? Ah, yes I do. Yes I do, I will. The starting point really for the Cybermen, for me, was looking around and noticing how much technology changes. My phone now does not look like my phone six years ago. I started thinking about the clanky steampunk Cybermen we've been dealing with for a while. I thought, well, what would the new ones be like? Thought, well, for a start, they probably wouldn't clank anymore. I loved the idea of taking the faces back a bit to some of the 60s faces, which were a little more implacable. Cybermats, they've been around for a very, very long time. How can I improve Cybermats? I thought Cybermites. They're down to the size of silverfish. They can cluster together. They can act as spies. They can beam information back. That, that one is brilliant. And the idea that the Cybermites could actually take people over. I, I like that. Stephen Moffat's suggestion, which I loved, you can do something that will stop or damage a Cyberman, and they will sit there and figure out a workaround. And not only will they figure out a workaround, but they will then transmit that workaround to every other Cyberman. They are super soldiers. And the big trouble is, if I've got these unstoppable killer Cybermen, I at least need an army corps for them to go up against, because otherwise, what's impressive about an unstoppable bunch of Cybermen? But I still love the idea of doing the story almost like Zulu, where you have a million Cybermen from, from horizon to horizon, and you just have this tiny core of people trying desperately to stay alive. And the only problem with it was, I had no idea what I was doing with the Doctor. And then I had an idea. So I emailed Stephen Moffat and I said, look, I have a mad idea. It's something that I wouldn't do for any other actor except Matt Smith, but I think Matt could pull it off. Could I have half of his brain taken over and have him be the cyber planner that he is playing his chess game with? Stephen said, go for it. And suddenly I had a story. It all now worked. It was all an absolute delight.